Miguel Cotto beats Delvin Rodriguez easy last night. But Miguel came out in the third round and landed a beautiful left hand, well, left hook, and, and knocked out Devin Rodriguez. So, I mean, that was a great win for him last night. And Miguel Cotto, he's one of these great fighters that I respect. He's a Hall of Famer. He fought the tough competition every time. I mean, he, he, he didn't have to fight Austin Trout, but, it, but he did anyway. And this is the guy that we need to respect. Uh, he always fought the tough competition to Margarito, to Manny Pacquiao. And I'm, and I mean, this, this this is when these fighters were were young and game and really at the top of the sport. So he fought the best guys when they were the best. And for a guy like Miguel Cotto, he needs to get his respect because he's gonna put in the hard work. And you know, a lot of these guys we need to start giving more respect to don't get don't get their respect. I think Andre Ward should be highly respected, highly recommended. Highly loved. I think guys like No Nito Donaire needs to be highly respected and highly loved. These are great fighters that will put it on the line. These are the great fighters of the sport. Manny Pacquiao, he will put it on the line. The guy will fight anybody. Shane Mosley will put it on the line. Um, Sergio Martinez, Bernard Hopkins, these are the last true great fighters of our sport. And we have to respect them. They clean out their divisions, or they will at least. They will fight anybody that you put them up against. Uh, good, great, elite, to you know, to whatever. These are the great fighters of the, of the sport. And Miguel Cotto, he's one of these guys. He, like I said before, he fought all, all the great competition. But you know what, Miguel Cotto, it took this guy a whole year to do this, basically. I mean, he he fought last what. He fought last December 2012. So I, I think it, I think the date specifically was December 1st, 2012 against Austin Trout. So it took this guy a whole year to come back and do this. I mean, and it's even and it's taking Manny Pacquiao like even longer it seems. I mean, this at this rate, I mean, you, you can't get anything done. You know what I mean? And Devin Rodriguez, he's not no elite competition and <laughs> you know what I mean he's not like the best guy to <laughs> so I mean um I mean, it's a great win but I think he could have been done this I don't think it, he needed a whole year to, to beat Devin Rodriguez I mean he, I mean he might have but I think at this rate it's just getting ridiculous I mean it's it's become survival mode if that makes sense, it's like boxing in general has just become survival mode. It's it, it's it's not about really being the best anymore. It's just surviving, because being Devin Rodriguez, all that does is allow him to survive. And Miguel Cotto, I still don't think he's gonna beat a Canelo Alvarez and Sergio Martinez. If Sergio isn't old, I still can't see Miguel Cotto beating Sergio Martinez. I mean, he's a better pressure fighter than many fighters. Many fighters in this era, Miguel Cotto is probably one of the best pressure fighters out there. I mean, that's why he gave Floyd trouble because he's a great pressure fighter. But Sergio, if he's not drained, and like I said, if he's not old, drained, or lost anything, he should beat Miguel Cotto. He's going to be moving, and I don't know. It could be one of those things where. Miguel Cotto just has a higher level, maybe, but it's not like it's not like Sergio Martinez hasn't been through the wire either. So I mean, and then he's 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 bigger than Miguel Cotto. I just can't see Miguel Cotto beating anybody really solid at 154 and 160. Like I said, I think Miguel Cotto should be at 147. He's too small for 154. And if you look at his record at 154, it's not like he's really beaten any tough competition at 154. I mean, he beat Mayorga and some other, I forgot his name, um, some other guy, but he wasn't really that good either. So, I mean, Miguel Cotto, he just has to, I think he should go down to, what, to 147, but he probably won't. And if he goes up against Canelo Alvarez, I still think he's going to lose that fight. I still think he, because the problem is he can't, 
See, McGill, see, people don't realize that Canelo Alvarez, when he fought Floyd Mayweather, that's not Canelo. That wasn't Canelo Alvarez. That guy was like, I mean, he was so drained at the weigh-in, he had to sit down. You know, know what I mean? So that's not that's not Canelo Alvarez. When Canelo fights Miguel Cotto, it's going to be at 154. And he's going to come in at 170 probably. He's going to be healthy. And I'm not trying to take credit away from Floyd, from Floyd Mayweather, but, um, well, too much credit away from him, but um, when he comes in against Miguel Cotto, he's he's going to be Canelo Alvarez, and, he, and he's going to box. And so Miguel Cotto, he's going to have to come forward on a guy who's punching pretty hard. Well, very hard, actually. So I, I just don't think he's going to be able to beat him. And he's going to cut up and everything. He's going to start wearing down. And he couldn't even beat Austin Trout. So I do think that fight was closer than what the judges had it, but I still had Austin Trout within the fight. So I just can't see Miguel Cotto being able to keep up with a guy like Canelo right now or even a Sergio Martinez. Like I said before, if he's Sergio Martinez, that that fight shouldn't be, it, sh it, sh it should not be a win for Miguel Cotto. But, you know, Miguel Cotto, this was a great win for him. I don't think what the sport is, has, has become is really good for him or any other fighter, you know. Uh, these guys, Manny Pacquiao, Miguel Cotto, they should have been fought by now. Really, they should have been fought by now. We we should already know their status. I mean, we had to wait wait a whole year just 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 to see how these guys are gonna look. And I and I I just don't think that's healthy for us or them or for the sport. And nobody's bringing this up. It's, this is only good for one fighter. And you know his name. I talked about him in the last video. This this fighting this one to two time a year, waiting all this time to fight. This that's only good for one fighter. Everybody else in the whole sport, they get drained by it because the younger fighters, they get no experience. The older fighters, they they prolong their fall or they prolong their rise. You have no idea where, where these fighters are. So we don't know who, who's really the best anymore because nobody's really fighting each other. It's taking so long. I mean, even guys like Victor Ortiz does, doesn't really fight. Even Adrian Boner at, at his young age, back in the day, right? These guys who was 23, 22, they were fighting so many times a year. I mean, it was crazy. But Adrian Boner can't even fight the way he used to. Well, the way that, the way the old guys used to fight. So this era of boxing is gonna be it's gonna be really, really different, man. These guys are gonna be so unproven. It's gonna be crazy, man. And um, you know, it, it's just not good for the sport. It's just not good for the sport. And our level as a whole is just going to go down tremendously. But but moving on, that that's a whole other topic. But anyway, um, great win for Miguel Cotto. I don't I don't know where he should go next, but I don't think he's going. I don't think he should. I mean, people are bringing up Martinez or Canelo. I, I don't think he should fight either one. <laughs> but that's just me. I think he should. I don't know. Maybe try to get another winner his belt or something. Try to just do something else. But those two guys, I think, are too big. Of challenges for him, but anyway, man, this is cool. Through this, it's just my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think about this topic. Um, but anyway, I'm out of here. Thank you, thank you for watching my video. Have a great day.